Welcome, everyone. I'm Bonnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration, and this is the July update. So July is more of a month of contraction. That means like pulling back. If you think of things like Mercury retrograde and how, you know, when it goes retrograde, it starts pulling back and then, you know, everything starts to come in a different, different sense rather than going forward and pushing out and expanding. So the contraction is that pulling in, okay? So it's not a bad thing. It can actually be a really good thing. It's just that we have to understand what we're doing, how to navigate it, okay? So it's the time where we're, where we're actually kind of pulling back in because remember in June, we had that all that expansion moving out. Now we're kind of pulling back in. What that really means is uh, it's a time for retrospection. It's a time for looking within. It's a time to reflect, okay? So keep in mind that we're always about evolving, waking up, enlightenment, freedom, liberation. That's what we are looking for as souls evolving. So when we think about that, that, that frequency of just pulling in, you know, the feeling of contraction, um, but it's like I was saying, it's also about like now we've, we're just now it's the opportunity to start really feeling into ourselves, really looking at our lives, looking at what are we really enjoying? What are we not enjoying? What really works for us? What brings us happiness? What makes us feel comfortable? What makes us feel safe? What causes us to feel disturbed or anxious or worried or concerned? Okay. So this is an, an opportunity month. For me, it means opportunity because for me, coming in always means finding out what's in our subconscious so that we can unravel that so that we can actually be freer and just sharing more of our, our true authentic self. So the frequency of that contraction, when we utilize that, because it's going to help us find things that we've been looking for. That's what's really cool about the energy. So let's just say that, you know, I've been trying to figure out, like, I keep having this reaction, like, maybe I'm having an experience um, with a maybe a coworker or something, and I keep having this interference or feeling or negativity, and I just can't find what it is. I've kind of been with it, sat with it, felt into it, but somehow I'm just not finding it. Well, with that frequency of we're, we're contracting, pulling in, it also means on the energy planes, on the energy frequencies, that it's also pulling us in, which means it's taking us deeper into the conflict or into the energy frequency or into the wounding or the trauma or whatever that is that's coming from all our past lives that's getting activated. Okay. So rather than thinking about, oh man, contraction, pulling in, no, think of it like this opportunity, opportunity to find out what's really going on here. Okay. So now what that means for those of you who know how to do your inner work, which means, oh, you get activated, you're having a reaction and you act, and you actually understand and know, oh, that's my opportunity. It's hitting something. I'm feeling an emotion here. This means I can drop in. And if I surrender to that emotion fully and know it all the way, then I can be freed from that particular kind of emotion, which means I'll stop bringing it to me. That means I'll stop co-creating that kind of energy. Okay. So opportunity. Now, I know we don't like opportunity because sometimes it feels like I'm getting whacked, I'm being punished, I feel like, you know, I'm being, you know, victimized or whatever, but that's not what's up, okay? We're pulling in, we're looking, we're, it's, an, it's that time of coming in and just really resting in whatever kinds of emotional experiences that we're having. So whatever you're experiencing emotionally, it doesn't matter where it's coming from. It doesn't matter if it's your family, your job your connections with other people, it doesn't matter. Everything is about helping you to wake up, to, to be free, to be liberated from your own inter, inner suffering, inner conflict, inner traumas, inner victimization, the poor me's, all of that, okay? So whatever you've been playing, whatever your life, whatever your theme has been, meaning, you know, some people, it's like always feeling victimized, okay, or, or, or taking advantage of, or uh, losses, or abandonments, or whatever your theme is in your life, 
there's a better opportunity now for you to literally come in and face these places and drop in, surrender to them so that you can heal these old, old traumas. This is the opportunity. Okay, so I'm just going to encourage you to look at this as an opportunity. Think of it as an opportunity. Okay, now remember, you're going to be activating other people, but other people are going to be activating you. That means you're going to have reactions. Maybe maybe last month you weren't having reaction, but now all of a sudden you're just finding yourself over menial things having a reaction. Okay, that means you're getting lit up. That means you're getting, you know, that energy deep in the subconscious of getting activated lit up okay think of it as wow we can clear it now finally finally i can feel what that is finally i can drop in and oh my goodness that's me oh yeah i'm feeling it now yes my heart is shattered i feel such deep sadness or i feel regret or i feel shame whatever that is it'll come to the surface much more easily this month okay so opportunity even though you know, we're pulling in, it's that contraction pulling in. Okay. So again, it's like contraction coming in, finding what's inside and bringing it to the surface so that we can clear it and be done with it and heal ourselves. Okay. So, you know, if you know how to do your inner work, this is be a vital time to do it. That means if you understand that your reactions are the doorway in to your subconscious, then you're going to use the opportunities. And when you're in that feeling state, the key is surrender to it, lose all your mind thoughts, lose everything, just become the emotion and go through it. Okay, because this is it's like this happens not that often in our, you know, in our world and our, um, you know, the and, and each month, it's like every every month is a little bit different. But this opportunity, I don't see this coming again, not not again, not even not this year at all. Yeah, might even mm, at this level, the depth of this, because just so you understand what's happening is I can literally see energy like we're like all of us, we're all of us. It's like we're just kind of pulling ourselves in, but it's a it's an energetic frequency that's in the atmosphere. It's in the planets, it's in our universe, okay? It's in all the energy frequencies around us. And everything is just pulling, pulling in. So if we just surrender to that pull in, then it'll be much easier to just find and feel what's being activated. So again, it's a, it's a great opportunity. It's kind of exciting because you know, like people struggle so hard to try to find an emotion, trying to find, you know, what, what's, what am I being activated? What's really happening here? And you try to feel into it. And it's, and sometimes for some people, it's very challenging to actually feel what those emotions are. So this is the month where it'll be easier to feel what those emotions actually are. Okay. So I just want to do like a little quick activation on this to help you so that when you are coming in and you're having reactions and you're getting activated and you're waking up and realizing, oh, I'm having a reaction. It's all about me. Thank you very much, universe. Thank you very much, family, friends, soul, people doing all the soul dance with one another. Thank you for helping me to find my way, my way back. Okay. So. And the activation, what I'm actually going to do, I, uh -huh, okay, you need to be saying yes to this, okay? All right, so here's what's going to happen. I can see in the subconscious all this dense energy that's, it's actually, uh, it's kind of getting, starting to get a little bit of a, a vibrational frequency, okay? That's because of what's happening planetarily. It's also because of the new paradigm, okay? So as I'm tracking, looking at that inside of everyone, there's a, it's like a vibrational frequency. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take uh, the white flame. I'm going into your subconscious, but I'm also going to go right into that first and second chakra area. I'm going to bring in that white flame. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate that white flame in those two chakras and in the subconscious, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to start shattering 
that energy that's starting to get a little shaky by shattering it. It just, it's, you know, that look, when you shatter something, you see all these broken fragmented pieces. Okay. What that does is it allows for those energies to be moved and lifted much easier. So just imagine you have this dense, dark ball of energy and now we're going to shatter it. And now you got all these energies that were, that were that now they're just particles. So they're not a dense guard energy. Okay. So coming in with the white flame, it's going to activate that right there in the subconscious, bringing that energy frequency of the white flame inside there. And I'm going to bring in also the luminous light, luminescent light right there. Yep, I'm bringing in that pure, pure, pure luminous light right into there, also in those first and second chakras. Now I'm going to actually use that luminescent light to shatter. It's going to shatter karma. It's going to just shatter Whatever you're, you're ready for, whatever you're able to handle, it's going to start shattering those frequencies so that we can release them, okay? So I'm going to bring in that luminescent energy and the white flame as well, working together. And then, okay, good, there we go, there we go. And then we begin to shatter, shatter, shatter. We're going to go on the uh, subconscious first. We're going to be activating, activating, and shatter, 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 shatter. Shatter, 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 shatter. Good, there we go. Good, now first and second chakra areas, luminous light. Okay, activating, 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 shatter, shatter, shatter. Shatter, 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 shatter. Shatter, shatter, shatter. There we go, there we go. Now we're gonna create like an energy frequency, like little paddle wheels. They're gonna send this energy right up and out of your body so that when you are feeling emotional energy, you just let it happen, just surrender, let it happen, and let it just move up and out of your body. Okay, all right, good. Now, remember, we've activated some deep, deep unconscious wounding from the carryover from past lives that are also intensified by this lifetime and what you've experienced here. So a lot of stuff could be moving for you, okay? And sometimes what happens is you forget that you got activated. And then, you know, you're like, you're like in your experience. And it's like, whoa, why is this so intense? But it, somehow, if you can just keep anchoring in and remembering that you have activated and shattered some dense energy, and that energy is now going to begin to unravel. And there's nothing for you to do other than be with it, allow it, say yes to it, but also don't hold on, let it go. You know, if there's emotions, have them. But anytime you're releasing emotional energy, you don't want to have mind thoughts. You, you know, it's just like totally forgetting everything and you just become that emotional energy. Okay. So July, in some ways for me, is a really awesome month because as we lift and clear these other energies, then when other intense times come, like Mercury retrograde, we're not going to be so whacked. We're more balanced from more like, you know, I'm going to write it, writing it. Okay. Now we're just writing the, you know, writing that current of, of the Mercury retrograde. So now we're going to, you know, use July uh, for the month of, you know, that contraction to come in and really unravel and clear stuff, free us up so that we are actually more able to, to be in the world in a much different way. And we'll be more in our body, which makes life more, more easily navigated and you know we just can feel more of our own heart sensation our heart love and we're going to feel more grounded more connected and we'll feel more uh that lack of separation we're going to just start to feel even more connection with other you know with other people you know that that th that thought that feeling that we're all one there is no separation well we're going to start feeling more of that as we come in and drop deeper into who we are okay so again july it might seem like it's intense it might seem like you're feeling like you're being victim victimized but that's not what's up do not take things personal do not make it about you're being a victim look at it as the opportunity okay so july opportunity for deep unraveling for deep profound shattering of all the wounding that's keeping you from just shining, sharing the gift of you, all right? And I'm really excited that we actually have two group clearings that are gonna support 
your contraction in July. On the 14th at 2.30, we have a clearing on transform misperceptions about money. Okay, so that's a good one. And then on the 28th, oh, this is the big one. This is the big one. On the 28th, we're going to be working with the well of grief. Okay, this is huge. This is different than your chakras. This is the well of grief that everyone has. That's at 2.30 on the 28th of July. Hope to see you there because it's going to be a great clearing and it's going to transform a lot of your deep, deep, profound grief. Please like the video and visit us at spiritualacceleration.com.